Welcome to the TDC Today Show USA. We are so glad to have everybody joining us. I am going, my name is Sue Roscoff. I am introducing my husband, Kurt Roscoff, who is an ambassador with the Disability Channel. And uh, Kurt, come on in here. And if you can introduce everybody to what is happening today, over to you. All right, thank you very much. We are always enjoying our work here at the Disability Channel as we continue to be showcasing abilities. This is all about television, by and with people with disabilities and veterans. And so our interest here is to for sure span across Canada and the U.S. with our great programs. And in the work that I do as ambassador, I am also sprawling other places around the world through the Happy Neighborhood Project, Mutual Aid Network, and a lot of other great work being done worldwide. And we have some news hot off the press. It is about nine days in development, and we have the leader involved in making it all possible. So I have been learning about stuff that's been going on in the past years, the past months, and it is something that's going to keep me rather busy for the handful of months ahead. We are excited about plans in October, and we are excited to start our works in the great continent of Africa. So this is an opportunity that I wasn't planning on, but the universe, the world, our creator, as time would have it, it's here. And we're bringing it to you right through the disability channel. Very, very exciting. So this is uh, something that's going to be a film market and festival. So we are in event planning. And you know what? This is where my journey started at the Disability Channel. When I found the Disability Channel a few years ago, I was in the middle of planning Ability Fest, Global Ability Fest, and doing an everyone in online experience. And that was something that was covered right here at the Disability Channel. So we are back into this mantra of continuing our event coverage. And so we are going to be showcasing a pioneer showcasing a founder and somebody who is in the film industry to make a difference and to unite the world of filmmaking. So Emily, take the honors. We're going to have our HMP ambassador and our TDC ambassador, Emily Gomer, uh, continue these introductions. Take it away, Emily. Okay, so, <clears throat> so a week ago, um, or nine days ago, I guess, uh, we met with met, uh, Jasper Johnson, who is over in uh, West Africa. And he and his team are planning a Afro, Afro, uh, Afro film festival uh, and market and... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and so... We just met with one of another person on his team yesterday, um, and we're also getting a part of the Happy Neighborhood Project too. So, uh, the festival is going to be in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, October twelfth through fourteenth. Um, so, and we're going to have about seven hundred films ish, about that I think. Uh, so I think we're going to have uh, Jasper come in here and kind of tell us a little more about. Is that how we get started and kind of all about the festival? Jessica, Hello. You're welcome. Very good. Yeah, Hello. Tell us more about yeah. your, your event. Good. Hello. Good evening from Nigeria. My name is His Highness Jasper Johnson, or Chiali, the seventh of our home kingdom, River State, Nigeria. I'm the founder and executive chairman of the Afro International Film Market and Festival. It is a, an organization that is putting together content creators from Africa and the diaspora, people in the music industry, people in the arts and culture industry, bringing them together for a common goal of exporting our creativity and of course our talents. Yeah, this is also the coming together of the Cape Town International Film Market and Festival and Arise and Build Nigeria Development Initiative. And this 
uh, major started in 2019 and it's been awesome since then. Although we would have had our film festival in Lagos, Nigeria in 2020, but for the pandemic. And so we're just kicking out of the pandemic. Uh, we decided that we have to visit our brothers and sisters, and of course, the, the global community in the US, and we chose uh, the Atlanta, Georgia. And what we are doing there is Afro International Film Market and Festival, uh, US Africa Film Summit and Expo, where we're gonna be having conversations around deepening partnership and collaborations in our global film production and of course distribution. Um, Africa, you all are aware, is the most diverse continent in terms of culture and creativity. And so after the success of the Black Panther, uh, Africa uh, content industry has been of great uh, attraction to the international filmmakers. And so we have decided to bring um, over 5,000 filmmakers, uh, producers, directors, cinematographers, and other professionals under our umbrella so that we can begin to build more capacity, begin to create more avenues for interaction and collaboration. And then we felt that the best way that our content can be well appreciated is when we take it out to the global community. And our first part of call is of course, the American media and film industry. And so from 12th to 14th October, 2023, we shall be meeting with our counterparts in America and every other part of the world. We are, we are having delegates coming from Asia, Dubai, um, Europe, Australia, uh, coming to have these conversations. There's gonna be master classes, there's gonna be workshop, there's gonna be investment summit, and of course, there's gonna be an award night. And uh, uh, worthy of note is the fact that uh, we're gonna be presenting one of our best and most um, excellent award, which uh, is called the Eagles Long Time Achievement Award. In the African mythology, the ego stands for strength, it stands for courage, it stands for patience, and it stands for productivity and valor. So we are gonna use this award to be able to appreciate uh, our friends, our brothers and sisters who have actually done very well, who have contributed immensely to the growth and development of their communities in business, in politics, in religion, and what have you. So this event in the US is gonna be a one-stop uh, situation where all marketers, distributors, filmmakers, actors, and everybody interested in the entertainment ecosystem to be part of this event and come and be able to know more about the African film and audiovisual industry, the great potentials in this industry in Africa. The UNESCO did a report in 2021 that that report says that Africa film industry has the potential to generate over $20 billion annual revenue. And uh, unfortunately, what is being done right now is partly some of five, over a little bit uh, for over $5 million. So there's still a lot of gap we need to cover. And uh, if talking about investment into the African film industry, this is the time to do it because Africa has over 70% of youth population who have access to internet, who have access to a lot of modern technology to be able to access some of these uh, uh, platforms. So we are calling on all and sundry. We're calling on investors. We're calling on film studios, distributors, and everybody associated with the film industry to be part of what we're going to be doing in October in Atlanta. It's going to be a wonderful three-day event. We're going to be bringing live performances from Africa, original cultural dances and songs. You will see some level of acrobatic that have ever been seen before. And that is the original African um, culture and creativity being exposed and being um, elegantly published and broadcasted in this event. So. We want to thank uh, the organizers of this uh, talk show today. It's, it's going to be an ongoing situation, and we're, we're, we are sure you are going to be part of this on, on, on daily basis, on weekly basis, to ensure that we'll be able to uh, inform and educate our audience the more about Africa. And it's about time Africans begin to tell their story themselves. So this is the opportunity, opportunity we are very excited about, and we want to urge all of you to be part of this history making event. Thank you. 
Excellent. I'm so excited to be hearing more about this. I've been getting little glimpses from Kurt and uh, I haven't really had a chance to wrap my head around what you guys are all putting together. So this is exciting. It's all, this is going to be huge. Uh, so one question I have then for those who will be, um, I, I, how do they go about this? Are they submitting film to, to you somehow then uh, to be able to be part of this? Or how, how do you go about actually getting the participation from the filmmakers? Sorry, please, can you repeat your question once again? I was just trying to put myself in the right place. Can you Excellent. come again? I was just wondering, so those that are submitting films to be part of this, how does that all work? How do the people go about that? Yeah. Yeah, we have, we have our website open for film submissions and registration right now. You can go to www.onefilmonemarketsummit.org. That is where you have uh, places where you can register and of course submit your films. We're gonna be screening over 700 films in this event, original content from Africa and, the, um, and of course from other part of the world because it's not just about the blacks, it's about coming together of the entertainment community for us to be able to um, evolve a more holistic approach to partnership, a more holistic approach to collaborations, because like our website speaks, is one theme, one market. We need to begin to see our actors um, having co-production opportunities, Asia, in Australia, in America. We want to see someone L. Jackson playing a role here in my village. <laughs> so. This is, this is the way we're going to come. If we must begin to create more harmony, uh, more coexistence, if we begin to create more peace for the world, unity for all mankind, we need to start having some profound uh, conversations about collaborations. And I tell you, the film and the media industry is the best way to uh, disseminate information and make sure everybody's aware of trending issues that has to do with uh, global harmony and peace. So we are really excited. We want to ask everybody, go to the website, www.onefilmonemarketsummit.org. Submit your film and be part of this uh, epoch-making event. Excellent. Actually, Kurt, I want to bring you back in as well, because I know you've been uh, starting to partner up and are looking to do some, some work in, uh, in making this happen as well. So what, uh, what role do you have in this? What are you seeing as pieces for, uh, for the very near future to uh, launch things forward to what this event is going to be for October? Um, <clears throat> well, it's gonna be a, a great opportunity on many fronts um, because, you know, the, the mission of this to help the stories that come out of Africa to be able to be portrayed through film in international filmmaking is, you know, is quite a, um, you know, a timely undertaking. Because, you know, if you start to look at the makeup of the world, and you look at Australia, Asia, Europe, Canada, you know, North America, South America, whatever, and you look at how, how are we configured to to do stuff together in the world, um, there obviously is a magnificent level of success out of Africa. But when you look at the potential, that's what I want to look at. Like, what do we believe can be done through the continent of Africa? And how well are we tapping the human resource and the contribution Africa could be making to the world and to tighten up this relationship between continents. Um, to me, Africa is in the, in the center of this, you know, so, so some of the pains and the tensions that we feel in the world can be expedited. Like when people are all around the world talking about the world needs to heal. And I think, um, you know, the culture and the custom and the long time stories, um, you know, Sue, you have a um, experience from the University of Wisconsin Madison, USA, with the uh, African storyteller, and so on and so forth. When we were on campus there, and uh, there, there's just so much to enrich. You know what's going on across eight billion people around the world, and I see no, uh, 
no more effective way to help that happen and to help people understand that uh, than the work of films. So I just see that this is something that's going to, in five months, just attract, um, you know, thousands of people. And I think uh, for this event, I'm envisioning that a strong connection by about a thousand people. You know, I go by a nickname, a special K. And and the letter K can designate a thousand, can't it? If you say one K, right. one you know, K, right. yeah, right. So that all that's right. what's going on for my role anyway. I want to spend five months to get the special K community to really all make right. this happen, uh, like the world has never seen before. That's right. And, uh, and there's going to be stuff going on that, as much as we talk about it right now, we're we're not going to be able to fashion a forecast. That'll that'll resemble the, you know the the incoming, you know what's coming down the line because there's people that we need to meet yet. We're going to be meeting people that are going to come in and do something really marvelous for this um, that we won't be able to put that together until we meet the person and we can understand our combined interests. So this is an exciting journey. Um, but I want to culminate that a little bit right now. I want to let Mariana Waikiki come in here. Uh, we kind of, because she's in Mexico, Cabo St. Lucas, uh, I want to give Mariana a chance to come in here and give her introductions and then any reaction, Marianne, are you out there, Mariana Waikiki? Are you able to come unmuted? Uh, yeah. Hola. Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you good. Uh, we okay. can hear you. Yeah. So I'm actually in San Carlos, Mexico uh six hours south of phoenix and yeah thank you for having us uh here on the today's show the disability channel um i am the author of the acts of kindness series uh featuring 200 folk manis puppets uh my books are written for animation movies with sign language characters and soundtrack by lucy and the perfect wave so, um, yeah, I lived in Hawaii for over a decade uh, on a sailboat, and I interpreted for a deaf man for over a decade at the Unity Church of Hawaii, and through guided meditation, I asked what my next purpose was, and it was, you're going to write a series of children's books with sign language and puppets. So here we are. Um, I have a series of them. The first book is called Underwater Acts of Kindness. It's uh, written for the Animal Planet TV show Tank Guys in Las Vegas. Uh, and it features Noah, the hard of hearing whale, who is recruited by a sea turtle called the General of the New Earth Army to tackle the Great Pacific Garbage Patch between Hawaii and California. So I know there's several gyros around the world, and I'm sure there is a couple around Africa, too, as well. So that's the first book. And the second book is Rabbit Acts of Kindness, No Bully, featuring Harry the Hard of Hearing Rabbit, uh, Chelsea the Courageous Sign Language Chicken, and Eve the Finger Spelling Bumblebee. And I am uh, currently working on the climate change book uh, with my co-writer, Suzanne Sims, who relocated from Waikiki, Hawaii to Guadalajara, Mexico. So shift is happening for a lot of us, uh, and we are able to uh, work remotely and do the good works and be of service for people. Talking about service, uh, my background is in hearing loss and we have over a half a billion people worldwide with a hearing loss now. We have millions of moms and dads coming home from being of service who can't hear their own children or grandchildren. So these are again, educational books that all uh, USA, uh, United States of America, classroom teachers, so there's 30,000 schools in the United States of America and 3,000 deaf blind schools that can receive free books from an organization called DonorsChoose.org. And you can go visit that website, tell a teacher it just takes 10 minutes, request a series and the puppets and post it and someone's going to come through and fund it. And I would be available for Zoom speaking. So I'm really excited uh, because Suzanne and I are seriously going to sit down uh, and create this climate change book, including uh, Leon McLaughlin, who has been uh, on our last couple of shows promoting uh, his Clean Water Foundation. Uh, he goes into 35 countries worldwide, bringing filters to hospitals, clinics, schools. And today he's currently in Beverly Hills, California, 
uh, at a real estate office fundraising for the Navajo Hopi tribe uh, community in, um, I believe it's Arizona. So uh, we're doing the good works. I sent him the flyer about uh, this organization with Jesse here and the flyers. And he's like, wow, you're amazing. So I'd like to definitely introduce uh, him and see what we can do uh, to bring uh, all of this uh, together worldwide. And uh, also a uh, shout out to Happy Neighborhood Projects, we're including some characters, uh, actually physical characters who I met on Zoom uh, for different characters' names or purposes. And uh, it's just gonna be a real exciting uh, next book. And we do feature uh, animal characters from Africa, such as the lion, uh, the elephants, um, I have a play. Uh, called The Five Elements with Five Elephants in this next book with the soundtrack with Lucy. We have an ostrich named Rich, and he has a song, Rich and Radiant I Am. Uh, we have the lions, the elephants. I have a zebra. Uh, so we are bringing these books worldwide and how uh, they're going to, um, you know, adapt to climate change. So I'm really excited again to work with Suzanne Sims. Uh, she uh, was uh, married to the late Colonel James Shannon over in Hawaii, who actually wrote the movie Men Who Stare at Goats with George Clooney. So uh, we got some amazing work here uh, to produce. And uh, through this pandemic, I used the pandemic unemployment money to federally trademark the Acts of Kindness series with uh, Dr. Liddy out of Orlando. And I've uh, created uh, uh, 10 uh, app games to go with the chapters of the book. So you read the chapters of the book, go to the website, actsofkindnessseries.com, learn the fingerspelling alphabet with Chelsea the Courageous Sign Language Chicken, uh, Eve the fingerspelling Bumblebee, Dr. Fingers the fingerspelling Herman Crab, and Greta Gobble on the golf course for numbers. So uh, then you can go to Apple and play the games for free. And uh, so it's just a, it's a great uh, uh, program here and you kind of think of me as like your next JK Rowland Dora the Explorer and we can retell like Hello Kitty because Walmart, Target and Amazon carry the puppets. And again, all classroom teachers in the United States of America can receive copies of the books from an organization called DonorsChoose.org. So check it out. Thank you so much for having me be here and back to you, Kurt. All right, excellent stuff. So see how we're working over here in the U.S. and Mexico and Canada, the North America thing. And we have our sites around the world and this Happy Neighbor Project uh, networking, the bu happy business networking, the happiest place in the world for business people. Zip code, H-A-P-P-Y, which is a zip code that means worldwide. It's everywhere. It encompasses the 8 billion people around the globe. And that's what our work is all about. And like I say, in 2023, we are putting Africa in the center. Sue, over to you. Let's wrap this thing up. Excellent. Well, and with TDC, with the, uh, the Disability Channel Today Show, uh, we do want to make sure to make everybody aware of the Good Friends World Tour 2023 that is coming. Uh, Budweiser's a sponsor of this, presenting this, and it is, what is this? Rock music promoting friendship, positivity, and adventure, and including some special international guests. Uh, they are going to be bringing awareness and support for Project Die Hard, and uh, donations are being accepted to that amazing organization, and 90% uh, of all those donations do go to the veterans programs. So there is a June 2023 launch in Cleveland, Ohio, and in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. They'll be touring the USA and Canada and coming soon to a venue near you. Uh, this is the Good Friends World Tour. Uh, there'll be bands, there'll be so, there'll be so much happening. Uh, more information can be found online at goodfriendsworldtour.com. That's goodfriendsworldtour.com. So this is uh, a lot of awesome events coming forward here in the near future. And to wrap us up for today, I'm going to pass this back over to you, Kurt. All right. So make sure to check out all our social medias with the Disability Channel. And uh, let's make sure that you're keeping up with 
the disabilitychannel.ca. It's .ca because it's headquartered, operated, and founded out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, which, by the way, there's a lot of wonderful films that I've watched out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So a little call out to Toronto. Hey, who from Toronto is going to be at Atlanta, Georgia, October 12th through the 14th? Um, So if anybody has any comments, questions, concerns, any follow-up you want from this show, feel free to call or text me at 262-3721-SKI. That's 262-3721-754. And you can email me anytime through our fiscal agent, Kurt, K-U-R-T, at Project Die Hard. Dot org And I do have that WhatsApp that I'm starting to use quite a bit now with our friends over there in Africa and other places. So that is plus one, 414-514-0186. That'll do it for today. Tune in to our next show. It's bound to be another good one. This good stuff keeps on rolling in. So that'll do it for today from the Disability Channel. Again, I'm Kurt Roscoff here with Sue Roscoff, here with Emily Gomer, with Jasper Johnson and Marion Waikiki. Mariana Thank you. in Mexico. Bye, everybody. Catch us next Thank time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.